Hello, my name is Matt. I am one of the System 1 administrators working for CHGP. Today, we will be going through how to do System 1 to System 1 referrals. We are going to start by discussing how to send a System 1 to System 1 referral from within your unit. The first step you will need to make is to retrieve the patient record of the patient you wish to refer. Once you have retrieved your record, please navigate to your system's hub template in the toolbar. This step will look different depending on the setup of your unit. Once open, make sure you are in the CHCP Documents tab and then press the CHCP Documents button. Again, this might look slightly different depending on your unit. Find the System 1 System 1 Referrals button and click. Now that we've opened the referrals template, you can see the patient details in the window below. This includes the patient name, address, date of birth and their ethnicity and language. If any of these details are incorrect and you need to make changes, you can do so by clicking on one of the buttons below. These are record contact details, record new address and record relationship. If you are happy with the details in the demographics panel, tick the patient contact details verified checkbox and then head on over to the list of services tab. In here, you will see a button for each of the services that currently have System 1 to System 1 referrals active. For now, we'll go with Community Nursing. Step 1 once we have opened the service template is to complete the referral form. Select the correct form from the list and it will open a questionnaire. Now that our questionnaire is open, we need to answer all the questions that have a red number as these are mandatory. So now we'll answer the questions one by one. Some of these questions will have an A icon next to them. This allows you to enter a preset answer. Whenever you see one of these, please click on them and then click anywhere in the text to select it. Then click OK to insert it into the text box. This will insert a number of questions that you will need to answer in this box, such as name, role and organisation, telephone number and any other details of the referrer. Once you've put in all your referrer details, we now need to select an intervention option or why we are referring. So we're going to go ahead with wound care and this will open up a box below. Again, there is an A icon next to these, which allows you to select some preset questions that need to be answered. So go ahead again and select the text and click OK to insert it into the text box. Once you're happy you've answered the question satisfactorily, go ahead to the bottom right hand corner and click finish. This will ask you to save for future editing or save as a final version. So we'll go ahead and save as a final version. Another prompt will appear just to confirm that you will no longer be able to make changes once you've saved as a final version. So click yes. Now that we've finished our referral form, it's time to send to the service. Select the appropriate option from the list and click to open. This will open a new System 1 to System 1 referral template. You'll see most of the fields are already pre-configured. The only boxes we need to worry about are urgency, summary and narrative. Summary is for any notes you wish to make. Narrative is the most important box. If we try and send this without a narrative, the system will fail. So go ahead and OK that. And now we need to type into the narrative box which service the referral is for and any additional details as appropriate. Go ahead and click OK when done. You will now see an information box warning you that a task for this referral will be sent once the patient record is saved. Go ahead and click OK. We now need to OK our way out of the menus and go over to our save option in the toolbar. Select your event details as are appropriate for your service. Now that the patient record has been saved, a task will have been sent to the receiving unit to review. They will then action the task and either accept or reject the referral depending on their acceptable criteria. Please keep an eye on your task list to find out if the referral has been rejected. In this section, we will be going over how to handle receiving an electronic referral. When an electronic referral has been sent to your unit, a new task will be generated called Electronic Referral Received. This will be found in your task list and will be unassigned by default unless a rule has been requested by your service. 
click into the task to find out a few more details, such as the patient's name, NHS number and date of birth, as well as the name of the referrer and the referring unit. Once you've read the task and are ready, right click the task line and select Retrieve Patient to retrieve the patient record. For the purposes of this training video, I already have the patient record pre-retrieved, hence why the option is grey for me here. Now that we are in the patient record, we can take a closer look at the details of referral. The first thing we're going to do is check to see if the patient has any existing referrals in our unit. So head over to the referrals node in the clinical tree and take a look to see if there are any open referrals. If there are open referrals, make a note of the referral reason so that we do not accept another referral for the same reason. Once we've done that, head on over to the questionnaires option in the clinical tree. Once there, look for the most recent internal community nursing referral form questionnaire. Right click the line and select view questionnaire from the drop down menu. Once in the questionnaire, you can see the details of the referral and you can use the information within to decide if the referral meets your service criteria. Once you are done reviewing the referral, please discard the patient record. Now that we have investigated the referral form questionnaire, we are ready to either accept or reject the referral. Head back to the task for the patient you have just reviewed and right click the line as before, but this time select action. In the ensuing pop-up, you will see the last few details of the referral, such as the urgency and the referral narrative. If you choose to accept the referral, a record referral in form will appear. Fill this form in as appropriate for your service and click OK once done. The patient is now registered on your unit. In order to reject a referral that doesn't meet your criteria, right click the task line and select action. In the pop-up window, select reject referral found at the bottom of the panel. You will now be prompted to give a rejection reason. Please type in something appropriate and then click on OK once you are happy with your wording. You will be prompted that your rejection reason will be sent as a task to the referring unit and are you sure that you wish to reject the task? Click yes if you are sure. You may receive a prompt that the patient no longer has any active referrals on the unit. If you receive this prompt, please click yes when asked to end care. You have now rejected the referral and a task will be removed from your stack. If your referral has been rejected by the service you sent it to, you will receive a task titled Electronic Referral Rejected. In the body of the task, you will be able to see who has rejected the referral and why. Once you are ready to complete the task, right click the task line and select Action from the drop down menu. A pop up will appear with the details of a rejected referral that you have sent. Click the blue Update Status button to continue. You will now be prompted to update the referral status. Enter any comments that you might have and select the appropriate outcome from the Referral Outcomes drop down menu. And once you are happy with the options you have selected and the comments you have made, please select OK to continue. Once you have clicked OK, close the subsequent referral box and you will receive a prompt asking if you want the task to be removed from your task list. Press Yes. The task will now be marked as completed and the rejected referral will show in the patient record as a closed referral. If you would like to try your referral again, please raise a new System 1 System 1 referral but this time include requested information. Thank you for listening and please remember to keep an eye out for any future CHEP System 1 videos that appear on our YouTube channel.